Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. Today, we're working on apples. So, what did I do with the case of apples? First off, I sliced them all up. And I peeled them, cored them, all that kind of stuff. Got them done. I put them in my dehydrator. I cut them in thin slices, not too thin, because you don't want them extremely thin, but reasonably thin slices. And approximately like that. Put them in lemon water so that they don't turn colors. And then I got my Excalibur dehydrator out and I dehydrated some of them a few days ago, about not quite half of them. I think it was 40 apples. When I got through with, um, it took about 14 hours because I went to the cabin. I got them out the next morning. Um, I vacuum sealed some. Danny and I ate a few over the next day or so because they were apple chips. We like apple chips. And today I'm at it again. I'm making apple chips. That's what I'm sitting here doing. I took and uh, cooked some and Danny likes his plain. He just likes to taste the apple. So I just cooked his down with a little bit of sugar. I didn't even add um, maybe a couple of spoonfuls of sugar to all of his apples, just to give it a touch of sweet. Mine, I added cinnamon and sugar too. I like mine a touch sweet and I like um, to add it to my oatmeal. So every morning I've been eating oatmeal the last few days and I'm adding my apples with cinnamon and sugar already added to my oatmeal. So that's the way I use some of the apples. Now today I'm peeling more and we're going to dehydrate even more because the apple chips with these golden apples like this were awesome. So I've got an Excalibur dehydrator, works fine. Now the apples from mine and Danny's trees is quite different. I do some of those in the Excalibur, but look at this. This is applesauce from 2016. Now I use this applesauce a lot of ways and every year I make some applesauce and so this is four years old and it's still good, okay? Uh, applesauce, I just cook all the apples down. I um, add just a touch of sugar. According to the pot, you have to know how many apples, and, you know, there's a little ways to figure it, how sweet you want it and all that kind of stuff. I cook them down, I jar it up, and I water bath can it. Um, so the applesauce is a good replacement for eggs. In a cake recipe, it's a good replacement for butter. So you could use it in place of either one if you didn't have that. The other way I do them is I use apple slices. Danny and I sit and peel and slice the apples. I put them in a light syrup. I use uh, four cups of water to one cup of sugar. Sometimes I use five cups of water to one cup of sugar because uh, we like really, really light, light syrup. And this was done in 15, so this is five years old. We're using up the apples slowly. I make an apple cake. I add this to the cake and it's awesome. Uh, you can make a pie. You can open them up and eat them. Like I said, you could add them to oatmeal, yogurt, uh, any way you want. They're ready to eat and awesome. You can take those out and mash them. Use them as applesauce if you want to because they're really, that's the way they go. So that's what I'm doing with the apples that I got. My case of apples from Gulf Coast Produce. Uh, distributors. Now these guys are doing another sale this week and if you're in the area this is um, I think the 18th. Today may be the 18th of um, April. They're starting on Monday taking orders and they will uh, let people come pick up. They'll tell you when to come pick up and it is not a case sale this time. You can buy small quantities of things and they have more items available than what they did with the case sale. So if you're in the area, this is Gulf Coast, Mississippi, Biloxi, Mississippi, check out Gulf Coast Produce Distributors. That would be the great way to add to your stash. Um, giveaways, 
I did a Betty's Box of Blessings the other day and asked for people to comment if they would like one of the books or cards or something from Betty's Box of Blessings. So the winners, this book, Jesus, I Need You, the winner is, uh, let's see, Lisa Fox. Okay, Lisa, if you will get in touch with me at deepsouthhomestead at gmail.com, I will send this book to you. Please send me your address. Thank you, Lisa. So that's Lisa Fox. Um, Wendy C. said she would like some cards. So I'm sending Wendy some cards. Um, Wendy C., get in touch with me, deepsouthhomestead at gmail.com. Tell me your address, and I will send these out in the mail. Cards, y'all... Cards are fantastic. Day spring is awesome. And let me tell you something. For all of you ladies that like to give out cards, I'm hoping once a month now to do a drawing for cards. So stay tuned when you see Betty's Box of Blessings. Always comment because you never know when you will win some cards. Day spring is awesome. And if you've bought cards lately, let me tell you something. Cards are like five, six dollars a piece, some of them. And they're not really that big a deal. They're not something you really want to say. Sometimes it's just, you have to settle. So these are day spring. There's always a Bible verse and they're beautiful. Day spring does one of the best jobs ever with cards. So Wendy, get in touch with me. Um, the devotion, 365 uh, devotions on the power of prayer. Uh, Keith Winslet, get in touch with me, guy. I always try to get a guy in there if it, it's possible. I mean, Keith is one of our very good supporters, and he had the virus here lately. Let us know how him and his wife were doing. They both got over it, and we're blessed that Keith and his wife are doing well. So, Keith, send me your address, deepsouthhomestead at gmail.com. And we are, I mean, we were praying for Keith and his wife because we did not want to lose any of our subscribers, especially to this. So, we're glad they're feeling better, and we keep others in our prayers that we know have let us know they too have had to deal with this virus. God Will Find a Way, Don Moen, his story, how he wrote the song, God Will Find a Way. Uh, Ellen Martin, she said that she loved his music and she would love the book. So I'm sending her this book, and guys, y'all let me know through emails. Send to deepsouthhomesteadgmail.com, Ellen Martin your address. So these four people will get these things sometime later this week or the first of the next week according to when we go to town and what we do to get through um, to get to the post office and get things done. Our little county has been reasonably safe. Uh, people are not too crazy. Um, the numbers have grown some but not drastically. Our our people seem to kind of uh, sort of do what they're supposed to. They're still out and about, but they're not crazy about. And so it hasn't spread too much. So we're praying that all of us get back to normal, whatever normal is. Danny says we're not getting back to normal, but we can get back to a reasonable semblance of our lives. And guys, I like giving things away. I'm almost 8,000. So when I get 8,000 subs, I'm going to do another giveaway. And when I get to 9,000, a giveaway. And when I get to 10,000, I'm giving away a green stock planner. And I'm going to do some books, uh, some prepper books. We're going to be doing a video on some prepper books before long. My favorite author, Ron Foster, and a couple of his friends. I still have uh, books from each one of those that I want to give away. And... Ron's got a new book out, so I'm reading on it. I'm hoping to do a slight review on it and a giveaway of some of the books from him and his friends. So stay tuned to Crazy Days. You guys, all four of you, Wendy C., Lisa Fox, Keith Winslet, and Ellen Martin. Get in touch with me by email, and I'll talk to you guys later from Crazy Days. I'm going to get through with these apples.